anchor your life to the inspiring words that will put a rainbow in your sky. Listen to Word and Songs, a program that will introduce you to the Word of Life and beautiful music to help you experience peace and consolation. Join the Daughters of St. Paul for half an hour of Word and Songs. and blessings to our dear listeners of Word and Songs. How are you? I hope and pray you are good and in a pink of health with God's grace. I'm Sister Lines of the Darb St. Paul, welcoming you to this episode of our program, which will help us get to know more and appreciate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. This solemnity is celebrated every third Friday after Pentecost. This devotion receives special impetus from the mystics of the 13th century. Three centuries later, the Jesuits came who zealously promoted this devotion. However, it was St. John Eudes who was the first to obtain permission from his bishop to celebrate the first fiesta in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in parishes and other religious communities which he founded. But the biggest inspiration to this devotion was given by St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, She had a vision of the Lord Jesus who instructed her to introduce this feast on the third Friday after Pentecost. This vision was the origin of the practice of the first Friday devotion and the holy hours of expiation and adoration. Hence, in 1856, Pope Pius IX elevated this to a universal feast in the Church. In 1899, Pope Leo XIII consecrated the whole world to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So, may I now invite your friends to sit back and relax as we honor the Sacred Heart of Jesus through our first song. Mahal na puso ni Jesus Kami ay iyong kupkupi Takiti ng puso namin Nang ang grasya mo ay kamti O Kristo'y ding Templo tan 
friends, the heart of Jesus is the sea and throne of divine mercy, revealed to the world in the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. Some theologians trace the origin of this feast from the fathers of the church who based their reflections on the two passages in the Bible. John chapter 7, verse 37, which says, On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. And John chapter 19, verse 34, But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, speaking of the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, once said, In biblical language, heart indicates the center of the person, where his sentiments and intentions dwell. In the heart of the Redeemer, we adore God's love for humanity, His will for universal salvation, His infinite mercy. Practicing devotion to the Sacred Heart of Christ, therefore, means adoring that heart which, after having loved to the end, was pierced by a spear, and from high on the cross, poured out blood and water, an inexhaustible source of new life. Friends, the call which comes from this important feast day is first of all a call to Eucharistic adoration. Because in the sacred host, the Lord Jesus is truly present and He offers each of us His heart, His merciful love. To spend time in the presence of the Eucharistic Lord, to adore Him, is the best expression of devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus, which, as we know, is spread all over the world. Thanks to Jesus' revelation to St. Margarita Alacoque in the 17th century, Behold the heart which so loved mankind.
那个短的乌卡，是路白那木海，一个望那马哈，安刚嘎马达呀，那苏嘎达尼拉，安布苏。You are tuned in to Word and Songs, and this is still your friend, Sister Lines of the Dwarf Saint Paul, sharing with you insightful reflection on the solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Moving on, as a prolongation and accomplishment of the message given to Saint Margarita Alacoque in the 17th century, the Lord appeared to another sister in the 20th century, revealing the abyss of His unfathomable mercy. She was Saint Faustina Kowalska, who wrote in her diary these words of Jesus: "I have opened my heart as a living source of mercy; from it all souls draw life, all approach with deep confidence this sea of mercy. Sinners will obtain justification, and the just will be strengthened in goodness. I will fill the souls of those who put their trust in my mercy with my divine peace." At the hour of their death, my daughter, continue to spread devotion to my mercy. In doing so, you will refresh my heart, which burns with the fire of compassion for sinners. Tell my priest that hardened sinners will be softened by their words if they speak of my boundless mercy and of the compassion which my heart feels for them. I will give priests who proclaim and exalt my mercy. Wondrous power, unction to their words, and I will move all the hearts to which they speak. Friends, the deepest longing of Christ's heart is that we discover how much He loves us. The extent of His tender love for creatures who, cooled by their selfishness, look only in wars at themselves, as if they were afraid to let themselves be loved unconditionally by their Creator, who asks nothing and gives all. Heart of Jesus, meek and mild, hear, O、oh, hear, Thy feeble child, when the tempest blows. Sweet.
How society, culture, economy, politics today need this heart. It is really true. The more man distances himself from God love, the more he becomes heartless, agitated about a thousand things because he has mislaid the principal one, to let oneself be loved by Christ and to respond to this love with our love. Many times during history, the supreme pontiffs have reminded humanity Without the Lord Jesus, life has no real meaning. Man gropes in the dark to find himself. Pope St. John Paul II introduced the Church into the third millennium with a mandate to become apostles of divine mercy. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI picked up where his predecessor left off and never tires to remind us of the necessity to rediscover the merciful heart, this infinite love of God, who reveals Himself in our lives if we open to Him. Open, open wide the doors to Christ, the voice of the Holy Spirit continues to say. By means of Eucharistic adoration, we are opened from within by His invincible working in us. The Most Holy Eucharist, celebrated and adored, as the Church teaches us, is the greatest and most effective treasure of our salvation an infinite treasure which must be safeguarded with profound respect 
and deepest devotion. Teach our hearts to love like yours, love of God most high, sacred heart of Jesus, keep us by your side, save us all from death and sin. Grant us grace and all good gifts, heart of Christ our Lord. Make your holy presence our home evermore. Fill us with your light and life. Guide us in your way. Francis, in his 2013 homily on the most sacred heart of Jesus, said, It is more difficult to let God love us than to love Him. The best way to love Him in return is to open our hearts and let Him love us. Every time we see a picture or statue of the sacred heart of Jesus, we are reminded to open ourselves to the love of Christ and give ourselves completely to Him as He does. He lays His heart open before us as an example of how to live our lives. Friends, the Solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus has also been designated a day of prayer for the sanctification of priests. Our priests are the shepherds of our souls on earth. Let us all together pray for their holy perseverance in the loving service of the Lord. We now pray the prayer for priests. Lord Jesus Christ, Eternal High Priest, 
We praise and thank you for the priceless gift and mystery of the priesthood. Bless, protect, and sanctify your priest. Fill them with the fire of your love, that they may grow daily in their total self-oblation to you and to the Church, and seeking nothing but your greater glory and the salvation of souls. May Mary's own pierced heart inspire them to embrace all who suffer at the foot of the cross, and may the pure heart of St. Joseph fortify them in their mission of true spiritual fatherhood. Amen. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the sources of my reflection. From the article written by Rev. Luciano Alimandi of Vahensia Fides, www.pagadiandiocese.org, www.vaticanva, and pondering the word the Anawim way for some thoughts. Thank you very much. Likewise, a special thanks to Jesuit Music Ministry, especially to all the composers and artists of the songs we featured in this program. Mahal na puso from Far Greater Love album. O Sacred Heart, O Love Divine, and Heart of Jesus, Meek and Mild, performed by Himigasuita. Anima Christi from Hangad album. Awit sa Mahal na Puso na Jesus from Ubaya ng Diyos album. And Heart of Jesus Here from Light from Light album. Thank you very much. May you continue to inspire the world with your gift of music. And may your music always communicate the love of God to His people. To those of you who follow us in YouTube and Facebook, thank you for listening. Remember, Pauline's Radio PH is linking lives and healing hearts. And if you are searching for spiritual books and media materials that would help enrich your spiritual life, do visit any Pauline's Media Center nearest you or visit our website www.paulines.ph slash eShop. This is Sister Lines of the St. Paul saying, Bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Join me again next week for another episode of Word and Songs. God bless us always. Oh, sacred heart, oh, love divine, do keep us near to Thee. And make our love so like to Thine, that we
You've just heard Word and Songs. This program was brought to you by the Daughters of St. Paul, 